Hey, what's up you guys? It's Premier Gal here and I'm on Facebook and I'm sure you guys have seen the style of videos that were shot on mobile phones in this vertical format and Facebook defaults to adding this blurred border on the sides of the video because Facebook's feed defaults to a square format. So if the video doesn't take up the full square, it adds this border on the side. But if you click on this video and play it back, you'll notice that the blurred edges are gone and all you see is the vertical format it was shot in. But if you want to reproduce this on your own in Premiere Pro, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so we're inside of Premiere Pro CC 2017 workspace. And here I have a video clip that was shot on my iPhone 6 in the vertical format. And so what we're going to do is add the blurred border or edge effect in the timeline. So first I'm going to create a new sequence that's 1080 by 1080. And I have saved a custom preset for my Facebook videos under the custom folder. I've created a video tutorial specifically on how to do this. I'll add a card to this video so you can click on it and watch how I made that. So let's go ahead and select the 1080 by 1080 sequence. And now you can see here in the program panel that I have a 1080 by 1080 black canvas. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this video clip into the sequence and I'm going to select keep existing settings. Now we need to scale the clip down by right clicking on the clip and selecting scale to frame size. And what this did was just scale it down to be in the 1080 by 1080 frame. Now let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing here in the timeline. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this layer by clicking on it, clicking Alt Option, holding that, and then clicking and dragging this clip above. And now I have a duplicate copy. Now the bottom layer, what I'm going to do is scale this up. If you go up to the effects controls, go ahead and just scale this up. And then we're going to add a Gaussian blur. Go to the effects tab here in the project panel, search for Gaussian blur. Select that and apply it to the bottom clip here. Now let's go ahead and add some blurriness until you get the desired effect and then voila. Now you can see the background is moving. If you don't want this to be moving on the bottom layer, you can create a still. First, you need to make sure that you turn off the top layer. That way you're just exporting the background. So select export frame, and then this will pull up an export frame dialog box and you can name it background. And you wanna make sure you import it into project. Then you can turn back on video layer two. And here you will see that the PNG was exported. And then all you have to do is delete this video clip from video layer one and then drag and drop this still in the background, extend this edit out. And so now you can see that it's just a still and it's not moving if you want that effect. So I hope that you guys found this useful. It was short and sweet. If you guys have any tutorial requests, go to premiergal.com slash tutorials and leave your request there. And also go to patreon.com slash premiergal to become a monthly patron. You'll get a new freebie custom made by me each month. So go ahead and check that out. I make new video production tutorials each week based on what you want to learn. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.